The Loot Shoot Trap Base, one of the most highly requested build guides to date, and personally one of my favorite trap bases as it's the most fun. It has one trap at the entrance that if anyone comes into the base, it will annihilate them with two shotgun traps causing them to die and fall to the bottom where their loot can then be collected. And then once they think they're smart enough to outsmart it by either throwing grenades and destroying it, or just by jumping through it, they'll then end up into the next stage where they'll think they're deep on your base, and once they go deeper into their base, they'll soon realize it's a self sealing bunker trap base so once they jump in not only will it kill them inside of your base but then it seals it from the top making it so they cannot get their loot and you cannot get deeped on and if you want to see this trap base in action you can check it out over on my main channel where i had some amazing loot come from this trap base and a lot of fun but let's get right into the build this base will require 2278 wood 12,075 stone 600 metal frags and 50 high quality to build the 24 hour upkeep is 1658 stone 83 metal frags, 2 wood, and 7 high qual. Alright, so first thing you're going to want to do is find yourself a monument that you want to place your trap base in front of. I highly recommend it as there's going to be a lot more traffic towards this area. Now it's important again to place your first foundation facing towards the area where you want everybody to see the front entrance to your trap base. Start by placing two square foundations followed by two doorways. Then just wall the whole thing in. Along with the ceiling, put your doors in place along with your key locks. Now it's very important that you upgrade everything else to stone but this one specific doorway you want to leave this as wood because you're going to have to take it down later. Place down your tool cupboard and this will essentially be the start of your starter base for the rest of the trap. Now for the next part we're going to work on the actual bunker part of the trap base which is also another part of the trap. I'm going to place three triangular foundations and then wall those in completely. Upgrade everything in here to stone or metal, whatever quality you want your base to be at. Place two floor triangles right there. Make sure to leave the middle one open because that's going to be the way to get in and out of this bunker base. Now you want to place two half walls and it's important you have the hard side facing towards you. Make sure it's not soft sidable from the inside here. Destroy the bottom ones and upgrade the top ones. Last thing you want to do is place two triangular stairs. Automatically what that will do is close it in. Now at this point, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and knock down this wall. So whether it be use some spears or you have a tier one, you can make machetes, knock it down, and then place two more half walls. Also upgrade that one to stone and make sure the hard side is again facing towards the inside of this triangle. Now on this bunker part, it's very important. You always have the stairs, the quality higher than these half walls. So if the half walls are stone, then you want the stairs to be metal. The half, if the half walls are metal, then you want the stairs to be high qual. I highly recommend just doing high qual in here. I'll explain why. So if you do these in stone and you upgrade this to metal, it's great. But the problem is they can easily throw molotovs, grenades, everything down here where these were high qual, the gap is much smaller and it's a lot harder for them to even access, which also allows you now to upgrade these to metal, making it a lot harder for somebody to raid their way in. Now to open it up, all you have to do is place a twig half wall followed by a twig floor triangular frame. Destroy the half wall and it's open. Now in order to get in and out, I recommend just go ahead and getting the barbecue. If done correctly, you can jump right on top. Now the way this bunker works is if these twigs ever break, this triangular twig holding up, if it ever breaks, it'll automatically just seal itself shut. The only way you can actually open this thing back up is repeating the same process with the uh, triangular floor frame. Now granted, if you did for some weird reason leave a half wall, which then you wouldn't be able to get in and out of your bunker, then yes, somebody could place it and get in. But that's why you're supposed to break that half wall before you set the trap. Now for the trap placement, we're gonna need three shotgun traps. You wanna place one far back in the right corner. Then the other one, you can angle about right underneath the other staircase. This one, you wanna sort of be on the edge of the barbecue. If you can place the shotgun trap to where you can barely see it when you're crouched, like where the, uh, as you can see the uh, barrel, it's barely underneath the twig, place it right there. Now what will happen is anytime someone jumps on this barbecue, that shotgun trap will not only shoot them, but it'll also break that twig. And then if they decide to run in and go deep really quickly, well, they're gonna get slapped by that shotgun trap or they're gonna get slapped by this one. It is literally impossible for anybody to go deep in this trap base. Now in order to make sure this thing is completely unraidable or eco-raidable or anything of that matter, unless they have C4 just to break straight through, 
It's very, very important. You go ahead and you wall in the top triangles up here. Now you can either just honeycomb it and seal it off. Or what I like to do is I'll put doorways here and you can actually put your furnaces inside of those locations. And it's also very important you put doors on these also. And this also gives you an opportunity to put a double door doorway right here just in case you want to put a door up top so you don't worry about people just continuously jumping in, which I've had that happen before. And if you do decide to put your furnaces up here, well, if you place them, place them perfectly, you can normally fit three furnaces in each room. If they do decide to try throwing grenades down there at you, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory what's going to happen. You throw a couple grenades, and before you know it, boom, the base is sealed. Same exact scenario. It seals itself right up. The only way they can get down there is either just going straight down through the roof or eco rating these high quality stairs out. Now, here's another thing about this bunker that you're going to want to know, and that's going to be bag placement. Yes, if you place a bag down here and they throw a grenade or they throw a rocket launcher or a rocket down here, yes, it will destroy your bag. And if you cannot spawn down here, you can still get down here. And I'm going to show you guys how. But I highly recommend putting your bags in a sealed in area where they could not possibly throw rockets, where they couldn't get hit by splash damage for rockets and where they couldn't get hit by the damage from grenades. It's what you're going to want to do if it's your last case scenario. If you cannot get down here for the life of you, this is the only way you'll ever be able to get down here again. So let's say it's sealed off and you can't get in. You're stuck outside. You can get at least up to, top, to the top of the bunker. There's a very simple way. This mechanic with the stairs is weird. So reason why I always say the stairs have to be a grade higher than the walls is because the stairs won't protrude through these walls if they're the same quality. So simply by just upgrading these to high qual allows you to have full access to your base again. But you can never use this bunker again. All right, now moving on to the rest of the trap base. Next thing you want to do is come out front and expand it out two more square foundations. Go ahead and wall that in completely and upgrade it. Now, while you're in here, you want to place a half wall and then directly in front of this doorway and right in front of this door, you want to place a square floor frame. After doing that, you want to go ahead and place walls exactly as I do. Finish upgrading those and make your way to the top where you'll continue to wall it in. Now, right here on both ways, you want to just go ahead and put two doorways and put your roof in place. Now, this is normally the part where you would think you'd go ahead and slap down the roof as if it was time you would. You would place one there and you'd place one on top of that, that floor frame. And that would create pretty much the first trap. But the reason why you don't want to do that is because we don't have a front entrance to this base yet. The problem with it is once you place the floors, you can't can't place anything on the front of the base anymore because it says there's not enough space because the roof or pieces are protruding through the wall. So that is why you want to lay, save those for the very last thing you do. Now, as for the front of this base, it, it's going to be up to you guys on how you want to make the front. The simplest and easiest way to do it is probably just going to be to place a roof, upgrade it, and call it a day. One way in, one way out. And yeah, you could even create like a shop front entrance. I mean, it's all up to you. Now, once you've made it this far, this is the part everybody's been waiting for. Now you can slap down your roofs. So you just place your first one flush with the floor, facing towards the two doors, and obviously the last one on top of the uh, square frame. Now we just gotta add the shotgun traps. Now for the shotgun traps, you want to place them not quite flush to the roof, slightly above, and that is so the items when they fall down it can fall down without getting stuck on the shotgun traps. And my favorite thing about this base, and let me show you guys why. I'm gonna put myself in God mode just so I don't die, but let's say I don't have authorization on this TC, which most people who come into your base won't. Now they're gonna jump in here, they might. See, the shotgun traps are already getting sugar happy. They're gonna jump right in here if they kill you, and they're they're dead. They're That right there alone will kill them, and their bodies, will fall all the way to the bottom to where they cannot loot it. And then you can loot their bodies from inside the bunker. Because there's the only way in the bunker at this moment 
is through this actual trap here. That's the only way you can get in and out of this bunker. The only way they can get in is either raiding the roof, raiding the walls, or raiding the actual roof pieces. Now, in this scenario, you catch somebody. They're gonna be mad. Rightfully so, they will be. They're gonna come back with grenades. I've seen it a million times, and it's great. This, this is the part, this is the part I love. Okay, <laughs> so they, they get mad, and they're gonna throw some grenades down there, right? They're gonna hope they kill you, or they're gonna hope they, they blow up your shotgun traps, right? They destroyed your shotgun traps. They're like, oh yeah, we're going deep now. So they're gonna jump in here, right? They're gonna think they're about to go deep. All right, and they're they're not cheaters, so they don't have God mode. Let's even say they're full kit, right? And they're meted out the ass. They got a gun. They think they're about to go deep. In this scenario, they jump down and try going deep. They don't make it very far. Their body's inside, and as you can see, the base is sealed. That is what I absolutely love about this trap base is it's two in one and I love trap bases like that. So once the people come and they think they outsmarted the trap and they think that's the only trap, then they think they can go deep and there's just another trap waiting for them. That is great. I love it. And then it seals itself. But that is how you build the loot shoot trap base. I hope this video was helpful and until next time, I will catch y'all in the next video.